Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Myers and I'm a programmer with Indie Memphis and the Black Creators Forum Nonfiction Filmmaking Grant is in partnership with The Collective and so we're hoping this video is a chance for you to get some tips and some insight into the application and we'll have George and Lawrence from The Collective explain a little bit later what they're looking for in terms of processing selection of applicants but I'm going to talk a little bit more about the actual application so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll kind of go piece by piece on to what the application kind of talks about. So of course you'll notice here your working film title that's very self explanatory, but the first section that we'll kind of talk a little bit about is your log line. That's a one to two sentence summary of your film. It's really what's used to hook the reader into what your film is going to be about. Who's your central character? What's at stake? Um, this is how you're kind of going to get the reader's attention. What do they, why do they want to keep reading your application? It's the first thing that a juror is going to read after your title. So you really want to figure out something that's not boring, not lazy in terms of what do what is your film kind of summarized into into one to two sentences so this next section the synopsis is very much what is your documentary actually going to be about this is kind of a beat for beat description of what you plan to explore in your film um, don't be afraid to be detailed in this section to really share your vision for how you see the film really shaping um, we want you to be clear and cinematic and visual in this description because it is eventually supposed to be a film after all. Um, and the jurors kind of need to see that your film has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And of course, with nonfiction, you can't really predict that as well as you would in maybe a narrative. Um, but we want to see that you've been thoughtful about where your story is going, who are the people that you're working with, and where you kind of see that going. So the next question is, what is the director's connection to the subject matter? Um, why are you connected to what you're covering, whether that's a person or an event or a thing or an overall idea? Why are you the one who is telling this story? Um, the jury would like to know how you found this story, how you found the person that you may be working with or the people that you may be working with, and how you found yourself being the one to want to make this film. Um, we really want to see that you have a vested interest in this outside of it just being, oh, this is a really cool idea or a really cool thing to explore. Like, why are you the person connected to this and why is this the story that you want to tell? So for the why should this project receive these grant funds, this is again can kind of continuing what you're doing in those first couple of questions. But this is an opportunity for you to say a lot more in terms of why is this project what needs to be funded by this specific grant? Um, what are some of the thematic elements present in your film? What makes it like unique and exciting? What kind of story are you saying as um, a filmmaker that is new and different? Um, and especially how do you plan on utilizing this specific grant? And this next question, is there an urgency or a timeliness to this project? So does the subject matter that you're covering, are you wanting to cover with this grant, something that makes it particularly important for here and now? Not necessarily necessarily have to just being connected to social justice topics, but is there something along the lines of, is there a particular reason why this project should be made now? Are, is your film something that you think couldn't be made at any other time? And it could be something as simple as like, you're wanting to explore some positivity or you're wanting to explore some sense of healing or catharsis with your work, or there are conversations happening in the world and your film is in larger connection with that. Um, we wanna know that you've thought more about that outside of just, I have this idea. How, does your, how is your film going to fit on a larger scale? This next section for samples of past work is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we just want to see who you are as an artist, what you've done, um, how you sort of approach yourself and your work. Um, but I think what's really important to consider with this section is 
how does the work that you submit fit in with what you're wanting to use the grant for? Um, how are they in line with each other? How does that past work kind of influence what you're doing now? And so for this next section, the budget overview, I'll click over to the sample that is included in the application that you'll download. Um, again, this section is just so we can figure out or see that you know exactly how you wanna utilize this money. Do you have crew who you're planning on using, crew that should be compensated for the labor and the work that they do? Um, do you have equipment that you want to potentially rent? Do you have spaces that you potentially wanna rent? Um, what are those things that you may need? Or um, if you already have some money potentially that you've received from a different source, we'd also like to know that too and seeing how this grant can build on what you end up wanting to do with the money. Do you have any additional money that you potentially need to raise? Those are just things that we want to see that you've thought about and are thinking about and will plan to use the grant to help in doing to create your work. And the last section that I'll discuss is um, this section about crew bios. You are by no means required to have your crew figured out or have crew assembled, but if potentially you have people that you've already decided you want to work with, um, please share that with us. We'd love to know who you're planning on creating with, and that way we have a better idea of what's, what are your needs and why um, you need certain things in regards to this grant. And so I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen and I'll go ahead and let Lawrence and George from the collective talk a little bit more about how they're going to go about the selection process. All right. All right, all right. Hey everybody, um, Lawrence Matthews, I'm the program director for the collective. Beside me, yeah. I am George Arnett, the um, manager of strategic partnerships for the collective. So we're going to speak to y'all for a second about some of the things we may be looking for in terms of like, you know, this, this grant and, and your proposal and stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to go back and forth and, you know, just keep these things in mind. Uh, one of the things I'm looking for, uh, for me, is a realistic idea. So an idea that, uh, is possible essentially like you know we don't want you trying to make a transformers movie with five thousand dollars we want you to you know do something that is within the budget something that seems possible based on the resources that we have here um available in the city and so that you know again taking into account your funds your budget uh the timing of a thing is this something that is going to take five years is this something that's going to take six months is this going to take a week you know we we want to be able to see that you have all that planned out um and then i yeah george you can speak to to some things yeah um most important for me uh which kayla sort of already touched on in the application process is like how, how fresh is your perspective um and your idea how are you telling the story um even if you talk about a subject that is spoken on many times how how you bring your perspective to that how is it relevant why should we choose you um, aside from, you know, maybe there's three other people with the same idea. How can you really um, commit to showing us that it's you who should be telling the story and in a unique way? Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, and that, that kind of segues into my thing, like a thorough idea. Um, so something you figured out, like start to finish, like the people, the places, the needs involved with this idea, like a complete creative idea, nothing with no like, weird gaps or, you know, flawed structure in terms of like it being an actual film or a project. Um, I'm very interested in seeing that because I think sometimes that separates, you know, and when, like George was saying, like if somebody has the same idea as you, but theirs is thought out way more uh, and more accurate and detailed, and that might just give them the, the advantage. Uh, and so, you know, that that's how that works sometimes. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of that comes, of course, with the execution. Um, like Lawrence was saying, how how achievable is your idea? Like you may have a great idea, but does your application show that you can actually produce this film and create this film in the time allotted? Uh, and I, yeah, for those things, like how good is your idea and can this be executed? It's yeah. probably for me the the biggest points I'd be looking for. Yeah, yeah, and I think with this, like 
one of the things I wrote down was like a general understanding of the medium, right? So you're you're aspiring filmmaker or you are a filmmaker. Uh, again, we're not like asking for you to have a ton of experience. Like, I think that's something that, you know, I know there's a little section where it's like, you know, past work and stuff, but for us, like, if you're a first time filmmaker and your idea and everything is thorough and brilliant, then, then that's that. Uh, and so for me, you know, being able to show that you're passionate about this stuff, that you really care about this stuff, that it's not just like a come up or an opportunity to get $5,000. Uh, and now you want to do film because of that, but it's something that you're actually passionate about. You have a history of being interested in it. Uh, and you're a student of it, you know, um, this is something that you really want to pursue uh, beyond just getting this grant. Like you, you're applying for other grants. You're trying to advance yourself as a filmmaker. Uh, that's one of the things that's very interesting uh, or not interesting to me, but something that I'm looking for uh, in terms of this stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, don't have I don't have anything else to add. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just these are the kind of the things we're looking for. Um, you know, I wish everybody good luck. Uh, and I'm excited to see what y'all come up with. Yep. Good luck.